Welcome back to the JDW Sports Podcast, and today I will be briefly going through the Washington football team's roster and just talking about some draft targets that they can possibly be after. So let's just get right into it. First, I want to go into the strength, you know, their defense. Their defense is very solid, you know, one of the better defenses in the league, one of the best defensive lines in the league, if not the best. That includes Chase Young, Allen, Dwayne Payne, Montez Sweat. Dang, that's that's a scary defensive line. Starting with Chase Young, man, the dude performed like crazy good last season, especially in his rookie season. Chase Young really came in and really just wreaked havoc. You know, he really came in and just made that defense even better. I mean, this defense is looking really good. This, especially this defensive line, it's scary. Then you have Sweat, really fast coming off that edge. And then you have Deron Payne and Allen plugging up that middle. Not a better deep. I don't think there is a better defensive line out there than this one. If there is, I may be mistaken. Let me know. But now let's move on to their corners. You know, they're newly signed William Jackson. And they have Jimmy Jimmy Moreland and Fuller. You know, this is a decent cornerback group as well. You know, this, man, this corner back group is a bit underrated, you know, Jackson, he's a little better than some may think, I think he's a decent corner, Jimmy Moreland is a serviceable slot corner, and then you have Fuller, who is a very, who is a very decent boundary corner, um, you know, just a very good defensive back group at all, and then you have the safeties who are pretty decent, Everett is okay, they can maybe upgrade Everett, but, and then you have Landon Collins, who's a very strong, hard-nosed tackling safety, um, you know, the linebackers are maybe a little bit of a weakness. And John Bostic, you know, I'm not crazy about him. He's okay. You know, he's just not really all there anymore. I mean, he, he was okay for a few years. But I think he, I think it's time to move on. If not, maybe, you know, he's serviceable. He's serviceable. And he's just below average. But he works. You know, he, he works kind of. You know, I'm going back and forth there. So not really. Um, but... Holcomb, man, he he had a decent year last year, and he showed that he can be a guy that can really be a good, a decent linebacker. Cole Holcomb, you know, he's Holcomb. He's he's decent, you know, and he's young too. He's gonna keep getting better. So I think, like I said, this Washington football team defense is scary when you put it on paper, and we saw last year it was scary on the field. So. Not much else I really want to talk about this defense because it really doesn't have that many needs, maybe outside of a linebacker um, and maybe one free safety, but they're serviceable and they're both usable. So I think they really want to address the offense in the draft more so, especially early on. You know, they do have a decent offense, though. You know, they have some decent pieces. They have Terry McLaurin. Curtis Samuel, D.J. Humphreys, or not D.J. Humphreys, Adam Humphreys, who are all very solid weapons. Now, Adam Humphreys, um, you know, he did have a lot of concussions last year, and he was just hurt a lot. So I guess we'll see how that goes, but he is a very solid third down guy, and he's always finding it sticks, always getting first downs. So wide receiver core is decent, and then the tight ends are pretty decent too. They have L- Logan Thomas, who I think is pretty underrated. I think he's a very solid tight end. And then you have the new, newly signed quarterback in Ryan Fitz. You know, it'd be really cool if Ryan Fitz would really do something to this team. You know, I, I really want to see Ryan Fitz do something. He deserves to, you know, really do something with this career. I mean, he has done something. He's been to so many teams and filled in so many times. He just, and he just embraces it, and he has fun, and he loves doing it, and he truly loves football, you know. And he, and he was really good last year with Miami, so – Guess we'll see how that goes, but and then you have the running backs in J.D. McKissick, Antonio Gibson, who are two good backs in my opinion. Then I think they sell Bryce Love, right? I think he's a good back. You know this Washington team is shaping up. So sorry, Leon, excuse me. But then you have this offense line, which is okay. You know the right side is pretty good. You got Moses, you got Sheriff. And then you got Rollier, decent guys. And then you have the left guard in Schweitzer. I think that's how you say his name. He's he's serviceable. He's average. Um, 
And then you have that left tackle, which I think is the weakness in this offense right now. I think they should um draft. If Christian Derrissaw drops to them, I, I think it's a dream scenario, and they pick him up. I don't see them passing on him. But, I mean, there's not really that many needs in this draft. I mean, on this Washington team, maybe a linebacker, maybe a safety, maybe another weapon. You know, I guess we'll see how Fitzpatrick performs. We'll have to see how it all goes down, but this team is a decent team. It, it, it really is, and we'll have to see how they ultimately perform. So, you know, if I had to pick someone here, um, you know, I don't know. If Christian Derrissaw isn't here, maybe I'll take Jeremiah owusu Karamoa. You know, I don't think there's really many options here because they're, I mean, actually a receiver, I mean, you can't have enough weapons. So maybe you take Terrace Mitchell. Harris Marshall, he'd be a good pick here. Um, they already have their big guy in McLaurin, though, and they signed Samuel, so I don't know. It's it's a big up-in-the-air thing right now. You know, do they – who else? You know, it's they, – they really don't have that many needs, and they're really, really looking up. You know, they might be the best team in the NFC, in the NFC East. You know, I think them, Giants, Cowboys, I think – NFCs can all of a sudden be a very decent division, but I think Washington may be the best team in that division. You know, they just the defense is crazy. They have a really good defense, and then they also have that T Taylor Heineke who stepped in last season. They just want reassurance and Fitzpatrick in case all goes wrong. You know, but Fitzpatrick may be the starter, most likely will be, but that will be an interesting quarterback battle. You know, I'll I'm, I'm gonna be excited to watch that one in training camp and be on it. So. I guess maybe, yeah, Jeremiah Wuskarmo would be a solid pick, but he's not really a rusher. He doesn't really come down, so maybe. So I don't know. It's a big shot in the park right now. But, yeah, I thank you guys for watching. I actually had a really fun doing this one because I I, I, I usually like doing NFC East teams. You know, the Giants, they're going to really – I think they're more independent on Daniel Jones. Um, If Daniel Jones can really take another step forward, I think the Giants are going to be – a very solid team um because that defense is already very good offense has most of the pieces put together i think they need another uh, like an offensive lineman maybe um maybe then the, maybe deontay brown i think would be a solid plug in later in the draft for them but we're here to talk about the football team so yeah that's really it let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys watching this is young team young and hungry Young and hungry team. I'm excited to see where they're going to go. So I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.